hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to dr Gwemi's channel if you haven't seen my last video i would advise you watch this last video because all the videos i've been posting lately are kind of like in a series so i've spoken about relationships i've spoken about what you should do when you're preparing to get married If you're a newlywed, say a big congratulations to you. But trust me, there are so many expectations after getting married. You know, you get carried away by the big day, you know, in your lovely dress and all that. But after that day comes reality. From that particular day of your wedding, people are already counting down to when you would have your first baby. Yes, that's the truth. That's how people are, especially in the African setting. They just believe, oh, the day you get married, that should be the first day you should conceive your first child, which is impossible. And you know, things are changing right now because people eventually have their lives to live. People have plans, they have dreams. Some people don't even want to have kids immediately. They want to explore in that one year of marriage, you know, get to know one another, get to know themselves, you know, probably take some trips, travel around, enjoy their honeymoon. Honeymoon is not just dedicated to a few weeks after getting married. Some people see every getaway time as their honeymoon, you know, when they spend time alone together as a couple. Okay, so now the most common thing is now you were married, right? You would start living together and definitely unravel a lot of things about yourselves. You know, you get to that point of, oh, I don't want this to be dropped hair. I don't want that littered hair. You know, baby, you just have to get rid of this. You have to do this. You have to clean after you when you, you know, all these arguments back and forth. It's normal in a marriage because it's just a union of two different people coming together, living in the same house. And no matter what, you will definitely bump into one another. So it's, it's, it's necessary and it's going to happen. You have to prepare yourself. To be patient ahead of time you know the husband has to be patient for the wife the wife also has to be patient if not trust me the marriage could even crash in two months if you are not ready to accept each other where you are and i would say the bulk of the work lies in the hands of the female of the wife yes i know people be like why must it always be about the woman trust me a woman owns a home if you want your home to be a peaceful one, it lies in your hands. If you want your home to be a war front, it's also in your hands. You have to make your home a peaceful place. If you had a praying time, cultivate a habit of praying together with your partner so that it's arrived, they will join in and then it will be a tradition for the family. But if you don't believe in that, well, <laughs> it's your choice, you know, different strokes for different folks. But I believe that you should lay your foundation on Christ as a Christian I am a Christian and I would advise every other person if you're Muslim nothing stops you from praying to God every now and then with your partner because it just brings you together you know there is more than you know you know the sexual part being prayerful is also really important because you're still going to encounter a lot of challenges a lot of problems and you need to build this on a solid foundation you need God to be your backbone you need God to help you and to sustain you because some things would even happen that sex would not take care of it you only have to go to God in prayers and then things will be sorted out now that you're married learn to make your husband your best friend don't go out there spilling all your beans you know once anything happens you call on your mom once something happens you call on your dad or you call on your siblings or your friends to tell them what's going on in your home it's a no no i'm not saying you shouldn't seek advice i'm not saying you shouldn't seek help you should but learn to sort things out between yourself and your partner if things are getting out of hand and you know you don't have control over it anymore then you could seek advice you could seek help from maybe an elderly person maybe from someone who is like a fatherly figure or your parents when things are getting out of control trust me the first set of people you should talk to are your parents because they want the best for you try to sort things out between yourselves before you take it outside the home because once you spill it out there you can't take it back if you give a wrong impression about your husband that's it you can never correct it 
and it's just going to be there for life you don't want people hating on your husband you know everyone wants to be cherished and if you make people hate your husband obviously he's going to transfer that aggression onto you and you might eventually not even enjoy your marriage as a woman make your home clean no husband loves a dirty woman you know when things are all tidy try to tidy them up if you can't do them alone you can seek help from your husband oh honey please could you help me help he will gladly do but you have to get things started you need to make your husband understand that you are a clean woman and this is what you want for your home he has no choice other than to comply so if you always make things right get things tidied up you want your home clean and safe your husband has no choice other than to get used to a clean environment even if he's a dirty husband he would cultivate the habits of keeping the home clean so women cleaning the home making your home a safe place lies in your hands always make your home enticing to your husband to come back home so you know you also want your home to be a safe place for you to rest you know to enjoy you know and all that learn a certain tradition with your partner one day to know explore have fun memories should be made and don't limit yourself even when the kids arrive still make it a tradition to explore and to have fun in life because you know life is just too short and this is your family this is your immediate family make sure the bond between you and your husband is a strong one because a lot of forces a lot of people will be envious and jealous and they will want to come between both of you it lies in your hands really if both of you allow people to break you or to come in between you and if you build a really strong bond impenetrable by people comrades to you because trust me there's nothing as good as when you have an unbreakable bond with your husband this is your husband your best friend this is your wife as well she's your best friend you don't need to go out there looking for best friends that don't exist or like some people would say oh she's just my friend and you both should understand that there should be limits if your husband is a type that all oh, he's got a lot of female friends out there female colleagues he should understand that now that he's married there should be a limit to everything you don't want to get your wife jealous and at the same time the wife as well if you are the type that you feel oh i'm always hanging around men i feel more comfortable with my male friends and all that this is a time to set a boundary you don't want your husband being jealous it's too early and i don't even think you should give him for a distrust lastly make sure that you never allow anyone change your minds about each other and try to make your love grow every day like it has never been let your love grow each day as the day passes by because there's nothing as good as beautiful as a growing love. So guys, till another time. Bye.